All right, so I'm gonna talk about my basic maintenance routine. So, the one thing they tell you to do is, there's a main filter, which is the bottom piece here. You're supposed to clear this out fairly often. Um, it just collects some of the particles in here, uh, some debris and hair and stuff like that. It's just to clean it out every day. I don't do that every day, but I do try to clean it out a few times a week. That's what the filter looks like. You can see there's some hair already in there. I just wash that under a sink or spray it off with a hose, something like that, to clean it. Alright, so this other one above the filter is the chem dispenser. And uh, this is your main device for continuously sanitizing the tub. Uh, you can either put chlorine or bromine tabs, tablets in this. Um, you should read, you know, and decide on your own, in general, how to sanitize everything, but I use bromine tabs. I think it's a little more pleasant in the heat from what I read. You basically twist off this top. Your tabs will sit inside there and just slowly dissolve and leach out and sanitize the water. Uh, when it runs out, you just put a new tab in. You know, these each tab will last maybe a week or two weeks or something, so you know, the cost is not very high, even though bromine is a little more expensive. Uh, then you can just put this together and lock it in. There is different uh, settings that you can twist to determine how much water comes in and how much, how quickly the tablets will dissolve. And you can kind of figure out what gives you the best uh, amount. And if your levels get too high, you can take it out. I also usually take it out when I come in to the uh, hot tub. <clears throat> and this is the bromine tabs I use. I just got this at uh, Lowe's. Now, another thing is you need to get test strips. Um, to figure out what chemicals you need, um, you'll want to test the water. And generally, I test like anytime I'm going to use the tub to make sure that the chemical level is not too high or too low because you don't want to go in if there's too much bromine or, or it's been too little. Uh, it's pretty simple to use. Just dip it at least six inches and keep it straight for a while. Um, so you want a lot of test strips because you'll do this uh, before every time you go in almost. Um, every other day you'll want to do it maybe to make sure you get your level set. Once you get things more consistent, maybe you can do it less. So for me, you know, you just match it up. So I'm, it's pretty good. It's getting a little high on the bromine, so I could turn down that chem dispenser a bit. And right now, I'm not too concerned about hardness, although it looks okay. pH, I haven't really um, worked on, and I'm low. So, you know, I may want to get some pH up or pH down chemicals. Um, I haven't really done much with that yet. I may try adding some baking soda. Um, Alright, the other thing I do with maintenance as well, just to pick up some particles on the surface, maybe hair or dead insects, <coughs> anything like that, I use this uh, filter net. And I think a good way to do this is turn the bubbler on and just kind of leave it in there.
the other thing for sanitizing that I use, and this goes alongside or in complement of the bromine tablets that just sit in there, is this, it's called oxidizing shock. Um, and I have a non-chlorinated one, so non-chlorine shock. And this is just something you put in uh, maybe about once a week or even just after you use a tub. That's kind of the way I've been using it. So it's a powder and I just, I mean it tells you the amounts but I kind of just fill a cap. Put some amount. And then just toss it in. Now all I'll do is put the bubbles on to mix it up a bit.